Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the LEGO Factory Train Series. This is model number 12. The how many diesels now? American diesels in particular? Good lord. Must be a popular model to be able to make various uh, versions of this. Saved it. But to be honest, this is probably my favourite model of all of them so far. I'd probably change this so it would be red and it would continue that white stripe. But for the sake of making it as this, you know, I thought I'd keep that. Yeah, this is actually quite a nice model, especially for the wheels. So let me have a little tour of the wheels to start with. There we go. It's not over the top, it's nice and simple. And it's got a nice little bit of detailing going along the front. I have a little handrail or guardrail. And the magnet has been separated from the buffers, so we have its own little thing going on there. Yes, that did break off, and that does happen more often than you think, especially when the thing's actually in motion, which is quite frustrating. How far away was it from the center? That's good. So it's basically the same thing along the back as well, where it's got some of these round plates. Um, I think these were actually supposed to be different, but it came to the point of making the wheels and seeing how different they were, I didn't really like it, so I thought I'd just make two of the same. It does look a lot better like this. Now let's go up to the front where you can barely see because it still doesn't like the color red. The roof doesn't actually come off in any set way, which is a bit fidgety, so that happened. But as you can see, there's a little lip piece there that kind of uh, attaches to this tile, which is a bit annoying. And even then, there's a little bit where you can see this little gap that's starting to form. It looks like it could be pulled off quite easily. So the build there isn't the sturdiest, which I would definitely have changed. Especially with that line and that whole detail and using the plates to connect to the main body of the engine. Would have made it a lot easier. But inside there is enough space to put a minifigure. It doesn't add a seat or any controls. But that is understandable seeing as little point that's on the 4x6 that's attaching the wheels to the base. Kind of gets in the way. But still you can probably fit something in there. It's not impossible. The lights are pretty cool. I do like this little bit here, especially on the front. That's pretty nice. Using the windows to kind of create a more, not a rounded look, but you know, just a more sensible look, I'd say. Rounded look seems a bit much. Let's get that back on there. Attach that back there. We'll go along to the main body now. The thing I don't like, what I do yet don't like, I do like that is using the grey bricks because, you know, that's just there. But I don't like the fact that it's using the grey bricks. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I especially don't like this random little thing here. It's four 1x2 bricks with the serrated edges. So that's a bit annoying. It doesn't copy that on the other side. It has this little bit that sticks out to make it like a half a stud out. Which is actually quite nice. You know, that's a cool building mechanic, which I've stated before. But, you know, that makes sense. But that doesn't. I don't know why. I just fell off again. Let's see. I wonder how many times this is going to happen. You know what, fuck it. Just keep that off for now. Don't be bothered. Right, along the side is supposed to be that long ass beam piece. But once again, it's a second hand model. So the parts included were way too long. And it's just not got it on the model. I think there was only supposed to be up from like this bit to the back. But at the same time, I'm not too fast. I'm not one for diesels. So that's okay. It's really tidy coming along the top as well. Using a lot of tile plates. And it's got these little uh, four stud long... Actually, I'm not going to take them off. These four stud long beam pieces. How can I try and... There we are. Look at that. Using all those like, vented 1x2s as well. That does look absolutely amazing coming along the top there. The pattern is a bit odd because we've got a couple of red ones and it goes into black ones, then red ones all of a sudden, then black ones at the end. I think those should have been swapped around, but the instructions do say to have red there. So, oh, just following the instructions, I suppose. Right, that kind of pretty much is it, to be honest. It's not over the top, it's nice and simple. Yeah, let me try and fix this for one last showcase. I'm gonna be t oh, for fuck's sake! I'm gonna be taking it apart anyways to make number thirteen, of course. But for the display, we have to do it properly. Yep. There we go. 
excellent production right that is yet another american diesel cool looking diesel though gotta admit thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you all in the next episode bye bye